AirDrop is a great way to send files back and forth between two Macs, two iOS devices, or between a Mac and iOS device. With AirDrop, the devices don't need to be on the same network. But they do need to have both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on. We'll talk a little more about both of these coming up in the System Preferences section of the tutorial. But up in Control Center, you can see that both are activated on this Mac. Over in the Finder sidebar is an AirDrop folder. In here, all the AirDrop-enabled devices or people in my contacts that are nearby will appear. I'm going to pull up my iPad's display now. Once the iPad is unlocked and AirDrop is activated, it will appear here in my AirDrop folder as Warren Swanson with the device type listed below. Full names will only appear here when you have the owner of the device saved in your contacts. Otherwise, you will only see the device name, such as Drew's iPad or MacBook Pro. For a Mac, the device name is set in the Sharing System Preference pane. Notice down here that we can allow this Mac to be discovered on AirDrop by everyone, contacts only, or no one. With contacts only on here, only those that have me saved in their contacts app with my associated Apple ID email or phone number will be able to see this device as available for AirDrop. Let's start by sharing something from my iPad to the Mac using AirDrop. So I'll tap and hold on this image in the Files app and then tap the Share button. AirDrop exists within the Share sheet in iOS. Any sort of file, link, or document that you can share can also be airdropped. Tap on the airdrop icon to see what devices are available for airdrop. Currently, only my Mac is available. So now I'll unlock my iPhone. It then appears on my iPad and in the airdrop folder over on the Mac. If I then lock the iPhone, it will go away as an airdrop option. So let's send this photo from my iPad to the Mac via AirDrop. I'll just tap on the MacBook Pro here, and the file copies into the Downloads folder on the Mac. Now let's send this newsletter sample pages document from the Mac to the iPad. There are a couple different ways to share from the Mac. First, I can select the file right here in the Finder and click the Share button and then choose AirDrop. I could also share this document directly from within the application, in this case Pages. Go to the Share menu, send a copy, and choose AirDrop. In this case, I then need to select the format that I want to send it in. It's also possible to drag and drop files directly onto the device that we want to airdrop them to from here in the Finder. This time I'm going to send the file over and it will open up in Pages for iOS on the iPad. AirDrop is really easy to use and a super fast way to share files, links, maps, and other items between your own devices or with others. Utilizing Bluetooth it can be done out on the street from device to device. No need to go through a Wi-Fi network. 